Hi everybody, welcome to your monthlies. We are we are transferring from Pisces to Aries. So to start, Aries, happy birthday to all the girls and boys. Aries is the first actual sign of the zodiac. It's considered this like big boy or big girl. Uh, it's that kind of starting exuberant energy. Aries is basically highly associated with fool, somebody who is charging in all direction, exploring new possibilities and going forward. So before we move on, I just really want to tell you that we are nearing the end of the promotion. So my 20 minute reading is $30 US and 40 minute reading is 65. So also guys, once when you get a reading, I actually do send you coupons so that way in the future you can even get a better deal. So if you actually are considering readings, I would say to take advantage of these prices. However, if you want to take a chance and getting a free reading then please join my facebook account where you know just by joining it you're going to be automatically entered in a draw and that's going to be the easter draw and somebody is going to win the prize over there so if this is the way you want to go or just you want to be on a facebook because there's going to be additional information i really would love to see you there as well but also it's a good opportunity to interact with the other people who love tarot and who maybe want to learn about it because i'll be posting interesting tips on it so talking about tips let's start today uh, i really want to talk to you about the issue and uh, really let's address this issue through this queen of swords and king of swords because I highly identify with these two cards. So let's go into what Queen of Swords is and King of Swords. They both are very experienced, basically, character in tarot. They have really high energy, sword energy. Sword is really heavy. You, to keep it like what she's keeping, uh, really upright, it takes lots of energy and lots of muscle. In the other card that you see from cat tarot people, she's keeping it down so that's because she's in a good mood that day but trust me that sword is really heavy and can hit very hard and the sword people are really fair people but they are not the most emotional people so you can tell in my readings that you know i tell the truth i don't go around i don't kind of like try to sugarcoat it because i feel that even if it's a bad information sometimes it helps because it helps you reach the closure so if these two people, Queen of Swords or King of Swords, go really badly, uh, then they actually create lots of narcissism, lots of ego energy, and sometimes like you see that around. And this is what basically has happened uh, on my channel. I knew this is going to happen sooner or later because it's a new channel, but I did get a comment uh, from a person who was basically really complaining about the cats on the channel. As most of you know, the channel is called Cat Tarot. First of all, I'm cat and I have cats. So it's not only that I love cats, I love all animals, but just like so it happens that I actually share my love with cats, life with cats, and uh, I'm learning quite a bit from them. They basically pacify me. They have this enormous, like I mean, clear energy and I really love them. The comment that I received today was the following. I rescued cats, dogs, birds, and more for over 25 years, but they don't belong in too many psychic readings. It totally breaks the energy and connection for me. Whoa. So, okay, what is then better than let's pull the card about this whole comment and let's see, let's learn a little bit where this person is coming from. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm not getting something and I'm always open to kind of learning, learning new things. Oops, we have a jumper. And let me pull my, uh, I don't know if you can see this, or I can zoom in too much. And I pulled in my um, Vera Sibylla cards. Oops. Jumpers. Oops. And let's have one more, one more. There you go. All right, so what do we have? You know what, to be fair, I really don't think uh, that I should interpret it. So I'm going to really read it from the book of uh, basically interpretation. As far as Wheel of Fortune, I mean, this is really clear to everybody. It is not in the upright kind of situations that is downward. And um, so obviously it represents negativity. 
represents something that, you know, it's, it's certainly a change, and it's a change in a way that this is the first, uh, to me, uh, highly inappropriate comment. So what I'm going to read to you is from, from the book uh, about haughtiness. So we have a peacock, but this peacock is in verse. So this peacock in the upright position here, um, it's basically being conceived because in Catholicism, Italy's main religion, and these are Italian cards, even though they call them gypsy cards. Um, the peacock is a symbol of immortality, resurrection, and of Jesus. Uh, in the Middle Ages, um, in the book uh, St. Augustine, uh, in the City of God, believed the peacock had antiseptic qualities and did not rot. So, however, when, when this peacock is being represented, um, yeah, this is the book, by the way, um, when, uh, when peacock is in reverse, it says the following. Here, this card has a completely opposite meaning to that of its upright counterpart. The peacock is seen as a symbol of vanity and ostentation, of superiority over others, pride, lack of humility, being unforgiving and prejudiced. It represents an extremely arrogant person, blinded by pride and hungry for power. That's a shallow person focused on outward appearances and social climbing, a person that will do anything to get what they want. It represents a liar. It can also represent a tendency to get angry and someone who loves to be flattered and be the center of attention. Well, now you're center of attention, so I hope you get what you really want. So it goes and on and on for a couple of pages, so let's not go on with it. So let's see the child in reverse. So of course, as you can imagine, uh, the child is a really, uh, really happy occasion, uh, as you can tell, right? Uh, which is kind of a neutral card and it's like somebody everybody's rather looking forward to a child unless it is in reverse so let's see what reverse meaning is it says this this card represents something that is not yet ready to be born a situation that is still immature so this meaning can of course be broadened to include adults when reverse this card lengthens the time frame indicated by other cards in the spread this card is symbolic of someone who is inexperienced, who can be gullible, but who is really not right for the entry into the adult world. When this card describes painful circumstances, it does so by saying that it is a pain that stings one to the quick and has deeply affected the quiet. So, yeah, I mean, somebody touched my kids. How do you think I would feel? And, you know, this kind of whole expertise all together is together not well and also in the in the closing here it says this card also describes someone with a peter pan syndrome who is refusing to grow up and who is refusing to take responsibility for their actions so um reunion is sort of self-explanatory so this is something that is not starting this is somebody who is negative so here i'll give you the verdict mr you know commenter i'm breaking up with you this is not working out we are not on the same vibe level. I don't want to be negative. I want to be this queen of swords and king of swords being fair, giving people advice without wrapping it in a sugar coating. But we certainly learn what king of swords reversed is. And that's who you are. You think you are basically an expert. You think you're knowing all. And you think, like, I mean, we should be listening to your advice. And I don't know for which reason. So. Yeah, I'm breaking up with you. I do wish you well. I really hope, you know, you find whoever, you know, you want to find. But uh, please don't come to my channel anymore. And please don't harass me anymore. So, thank you very much. And let's move to the positive things. Because, you know what? What I have, I have this beautiful reading for Aries to do. And in the end, I think Safi wants to have a few words about the comment. Hi Capricorn and welcome to your monthly readings. So let's go right in here because I had like really overly long rant over there. So let's see what is on the bottom of your decks. We have our Tom over here and we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So that's basically what we'll talk about 
not taking too much, not to carry too much, right? So here you're carrying the kitten, here you're dropping the kitten. So now there is something that kind of can be burdened to you, Capricorn. This is Earth energy, this is your energy. You're going to be a little bit weaker this month and basically just don't take on too much and this can also indicate some health issues as well. So let's see, where are we starting? Yay! Tough start. Deception and the power reversed. Someone is wearing a full self mask in this relationship and the tower. And you know, this is kind of like shakedown. Something just comes suddenly, uh, unexpectedly. You're not ready for it. No matter how much you're pre warned by me or anybody else, you still are shocked, right? Here is lesser. Like when, when this comes to me, uh, in my case, like I mean, maybe just the light dies on a computer, on a, on a, on a car or you know I can really just like the bill arrives and you go oh I really didn't plan it I thought I'm getting ahead kind of like a nagging thing but it's not something that that's going to shake you down right but together it's combined saying deception so you have to make sure you're not deceiving yourself sometimes we talk ourselves into something it's functioning when it's not so let's move on and see really where this lands this is crossed with healing family issues. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And again, it shows the family, a really happy family. So this is kind of self-explanatory that you need to address the issues. And maybe this is what the tower is basically going to. That kind of you have been avoiding and not talk about it. And sort of like by actually addressing them, believe it or not, you're going to get even higher level of, of happiness within your family. So, what are you bringing to this month from, from the last month and from the past? Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And Six of Earth reversed. So, you may have started with someone or you might may have a phase with uh, someone that has been kind of blissful and really nice, but you did kind of see, like you opened your eyes one day and the honeymoon was over and then you just realized this person is not so generous in giving and sharing. In fact, you felt quite the opposite. You started to have your reservations about it and kind of like this cut off this honeymoon. Or if you're single and there was not somebody, it was just the issue of some delusion, right? So we're going here deception, but this is delusion where kind of you know, give and take was certainly not there and you feel like, I mean, that somebody was just not who you wanted them to be and that kind of caused the disappointment. In the past, you kind of left, see again, there's romantic feelings in the past. So, right? Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. And then you have Ace of Sky, a, a kind of interesting card that can, it means so much, right? But it's kind of this energy, it's like thunderbolt basically here. Something happened that you cut it off. You literally cut it off. So, this could be it. Like, I mean, that's um, it was a rude awakening and it just kind of didn't fit you because you guys are so pragmatic and that's probably what made you be so kind of like tired and exhausted, right? So, what's coming up? It's coming up that, oops, let's do this. What's your karmic lesson? Who? Past life relationship, you have known each other before, and the moon was reversed. So, but it's reversed, so it's kind of better because the delusions and secrets are coming out. The day is going to like, come and be there any moment. So past life relationships, please don't romanticize this. This is not necessarily a great thing. So your karma is to understand that not all people who come to your life are the ones. Some people who appear to be really sweet and lovely are actually here to teach us a lesson. So please guys check my website. I actually did write uh, something about uh, karma today and there are like seven levels of karma. Uh, 
because I kind of define them from ice cream to like the major things. So look it up, catchtarot.ca. Um, so my thoughts on tarot and my thoughts on karma are on the same kind of like level. So this can kind of talk, this actually talks about it, um, which karmic lessons and how basically we are resolving and what kind of things we attract in life to do that. So here we have the moon. So this past life relationship was with somebody who is carrying some kind of secrets. And you guys don't like secrets. Well, nobody does. And in very particular, the earth signs are not tolerating them. And good for you. Everybody should be learning that from you. So this is your lesson for this month to clear anything out. Even though you're sick, even though you kind of just want to kind of shake it off and shove it under the carpet, do not do that. Because it says, make the effort. You see, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. But then there is something still closing. There is world reversed, right? Like the, this is kind of like appreciating and looking at your efforts and kind of like the world proverbial of what you accomplished. So this is still not there. This can also mean this is also karmic circle and karmic cycle that is not close that you're not able to cut it out the idea about karma is that to cut it out right what goes around comes around but cut it and you go to the next circle next circle next circle it keeps going guys it never never stops so how do you feel about yourself again look separation something is not done it is just halfway done you're just separated time apart from your partner is on the horizon and this doesn't have to necessarily mean the breakup it does in many cases I will not lie to you but it it shows that um, unfortunately you guys feel that something cannot be resurrected you you are making the effort and you're doing all these things that the book says uh, lucky but I think the honeymoon kind of thingy where you saw what you saw or some kind of like recent event made you really rethink this right and you're dealing with family issues at this time and this is kind of like how you feel about it very strongly if if you're single and you are just seeing this you are going to separate from some ideas or preconceived ideas of how a relationship should look like even though you're really really resenting this and you're kind of going with what you know dr phil says or like but you have to figure out what really works for you right because remember your challenge for the month is kind of like resolve and think about your karma and like i mean usually it's a very simple rule of thumb that i tell my clients just think if this makes you feel good well, if it doesn't, you have to talk about it. It can be resolved, but just talk about it. So how, how is like your environment reacting to your situation the upcoming month? Look, wedding. This, this situation involves marriage. Either you're going to try to push you into uh, being staying with this person. Or if you're married, they're going to try to make you stay there. Or try to tell you, well, you know, you have to focus. You have to get married. This shoots that other people say, that should not apply to you. So this is again a part of this. You need to rethink. You really need to rethink who you really are and not to allow other people to dominate you. And yet you have another good card reversed. So this is 10 of Earth reversed, right? So this is again a separation. So wedding not going to happen. So they will see you separating or they will see you getting divorced. Um, yeah, this is, you know, a smeared reputation as well somebody maybe this is what happened that somebody smeared a reputation guys and you were just like uh-uh dude I am building this for so many years and you're not going to do it right so this is basically what's happening like in your environment they're observing this right so fears and hopes well this is natural of course you do want this to make it work. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. And like that big celebration. Isn't this a dream of all of us? This is that fairy tale that we are all telling ourselves. Like, if it just calls me, it comes back. And it's on the surface, right? But start thinking a little bit deeper. Allow yourself. Allow yourself. Indulge yourself that you can take it. Go deeper and really ask yourself, hmm, why are we not together? What are the reasons we're not together? And try to turn every stone and figure out why you're not together, right? And 
yeah, it's nice to dream. We all dream, and it's just like really normal part of that, basically separation cycle. But you should equally fear this as much as like want it, because if this cannot ultimately make you happy, and if you think, well, if he or she just comes back, and just if they do this, this is where is the problem. You cannot change anyone. They can only change if they want. Because look, ultimately, you're going to come on top. It says, stay optimistic about your love life. And you are getting this far kitten over here. So it is really not your energy. It may be even scorching energy. Like in the past, you were dealing even with the higher energy because swords and sky is higher energy than fire. This is like a rocket. This is like the airplane. But it tells you, look, keep thinking positive. Keep thinking positive, and the faith uh, will bring you romance. So, guys, it's going to be kind of rocky road month, but it's going to bring so many lessons. It's going to be actually wonderful with how you actually finish it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to now add to this spread a few things. I'm going to add this um, gypsy kind of cards. And let's check you out over here. Let's see a little overview of the month. Because this kind of like gives a huge current kind of like over here. This can show us emotions that are flying on the surface as well. So, give me this for Capricorn for the transit of Aries from March 21st to April 24th. Okay, copies. It's, it's just a different kind of divination method, but look, it's coming up to the same thing, right? So this is like why I don't really know why cards work, but I just don't, I just do know that they work if you really learn how to read them well. Um, so look, uh, this is you, of course, but then you have the wedding and the reunion and celebration, and yet to have a sorrow and somebody really, really suffering. So sorrow next to wedding, it's difficult. So obviously you're talking about reunion. Did we not have reconciliation here? This is it, right? You are really hoping for it, but then, you know, you will have this as well. It's so like it's a duplication over here. So now, what is the additional information that, that we are getting here? So this is not a cat. It's just a mouse flying over. So you see, I have a mouse, but it's kind of like a Logitech, not exactly a living body. So look, um, you do want to get here, but this this tells me that you uh, you need to become a friend to yourself. And you have to serve your own needs first, right? But I really like this spread because it kind of like finishes on a good note, just like the other one. And it's like so cute that shows this like earthy energy that you guys have. So look here. Um, like your friends and your family, that you're going to resolve this with your family. Something will happen that will make you really strong, right? So it's going to be this cheerfulness. It's going to come back to your life. And that's why you're going to start talking about this wedding. Even I think your family was kind of upset about some maybe separation and they kind of did get you to the wedding, right? Over here. So this is kind of like that family and kind of celebration, but this is kind of like a breakup and not getting together. So there is basically going to be a talk about it and talk about reunion, which you had the constellation over here. So some of you will reconcile, but if you reconcile, it's going to be uh, different. It's going to be transparent. You're going to ask answers. You're going to be making sure because that there is a constancy. There is like a solid earthy energy in it that you're building, that you are communicating, right? And that there is like a hopefulness in this relationship. You do not want any more things that they're just like for some reason not functioning properly. So also for um, ladies who are married or in a, let's say, serious relationship or somebody who has kids, I also want to pick this card here. If I can find it. Okay. 
the wife. Oops, let's find this lady here. For, I mean, look, married women also can identify with the other situation as well. This is just kind of a little bit more specific. Or if you ladies have, uh, if you're dealing with somebody who has a wife, this might actually resonate a little bit. So let's take a look. Wait. For Capricorns. We're taking Capricorns from Capricorns in relationships. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, you see? Single ones and married ones sort of have the same flavor. Look. We have somebody sad and there's melancholy over things and conversations that we are going to have, right? And this was the end of the honeymoon kind of stage which we had over here. However, this is somebody really dedicated. It is also showing to somebody from the past. So it's like no surprise that we actually have reunion over here as well showing up. And for those of you who did listen to my long rant or somebody who who touched my kid, my furry kid, uh, I was I was explaining about this card like I'm in the reverse, but in this case it's upright. So it shows about the uplifting energy of resurrection, of looking up and this is just right in front of you. But they're like I mean cards that are also negative uh, and, and kind of like waiting and sides, right? This is a breakup. So no reunion here, right? Like in my case, uh, when I was dealing with this person, this kind of showed the reason why I said the card said is like break up, like right, this was kind of downward and reunion. So same thing here, uh, you will be, if you are currently separated, right, if this is kind of like what you decided and even though you're kind of refusing for this to die, this is what's showing here, like you're still going through emotions and the reason why you're going is like because you see, you're still remembering the happy moments that you had and the intimate moments that you had and like, you know, this kind of like, you're hoping again that conversations are going to kind of like make this whole situation come closer. But in the end, I think you're going to be tired of, of waiting for things to kind of come out better. And uh, it does look to me that it's going to be the end for some of you. Some of you will reunite and you will again go through the cycle that is not productive. So, yeah, I would like to know... Uh, like, I mean, put me in your comments, how is the month happening and then developing. And also, it would be really good to know, uh, it would be good for you actually to come a few times per month just to see because each time actually you are going to get a different insight. And let's quickly check on Lenormand for um, the other influences as well because this can, show, this can show kind of like additional information. So for Capricorn. Oops, we have first jumper, second jumper. Look at how many birds you have over here. All communication. My gosh. Again. Hmm. Okay, overall, this is all good. It's it's saying that um, it's saying to me there will be communication. So see again, there is like this connotation of being reconciling, and it's for anybody who is older. I would say forty and up, the reconciliation is going to really be in cards. But you're going to really, really again be very careful and worried about the reputation, and. You know, it, it was something that affected your reputation. Maybe this was, again, this kind of like whole feeling that you brought into month and that kind of like it made you kind of hesitate behind. But what I really like about it is like that all together with everything that you're going through, you still have this like, I mean, happy outlook. You will be like, I mean, flicking the whips several times, right? Uh, and it, this, this is also sexual attraction as well, right? But... Um, you will be very surprised and that's why this reconciliation is like on the table, right? Because somebody will pleasantly surprise you, but it, it's going to be 
more or less schmoozing and late night, late night calls and telling you how pretty you are. Somebody will affect your ego and um, the communication will be there, but be really, really careful. This is like a really, uh, this is the worst card of the deck. This is the best card of the deck. So they might actually nullify each other uh, if you really look, or both of them can work out. So which means that your reputation can really be at stake and how somebody and what somebody is talking about you behind your back. And also the key the key to your future would be the proper communication. So again, we are going back to uh, the lesson, uh, I mean, to kind of communicate the secrets, to kind of clear the air and move ahead in peace. So altogether it's going to be relatively um, pleasant month for you, even though like you have all bunch of like really uh, strong things you need to deal with, but somehow you're going to deal with that and this also can be health affecting the health so be careful with your health take extra vitamins and stuff like that so cappies enjoy a month check it a few times just to see how it's progressing and in the meantime check the weeklies and dailies so take care and i love you